Hey, baby girls. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super, super well today. Happy Friday. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, or having an amazing Friday because it's viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe, chicas. Okay? Um, <laughs> so let's get started with today's video. As you guys can see and you guys saw on the thumbnail, it is another Valentine's Day design. I am not going to stop doing Valentine's Day design until the 14th. I think Valentine's Day is on Tuesday, isn't it? So we st we still are going to have a Valentine's Day design that Monday, I promise you, because why not? Why not? Okay? <laughs> I love it. I'm sure you guys love it too, so why not? Anyway, you guys, let me kind of walk you through the products that we're going to be using on today's video. To begin, I'm using my 3XL square tips. Um, you guys know these are my go-tos. I love 3XL square tips, you guys. I will have those. Well, they're not linked, but the link to my online store is in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out. Um, my whole Valentine's collection is restocked. Uh, make sure to go and check that out as well. If you guys didn't uh, get your hands on it the first time I dropped it, um, go ahead and check that out. The only one that is not available is Sweetheart. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know. I don't even think it's ever going to be here. So I'm just going to cancel the order. And we'll see. Maybe next year I'll bring it out again. But yeah, you guys. Um, everything else is restocked. So go and check that out. Um, the monomer that I am using is from Two Guys. I do have a coupon code with Two Guys. I mentioned to you guys in yesterday's video that you guys need to take advantage of the Two Guys coupon code because I don't think I'm going to continue to be their brand ambassador just for the fact that um, I just want to um, um, I just want to focus more on my brand. You know what I mean? Even though um, I love their brand and I would stand by their products 100%, I really want to just um, just focus on me, focus on bomb nails. You know what I mean? Anything that has to do with bomb nails, I want to focus on. And um, being a brand ambassador for another brand is hard. It's really hard, you guys. It's not just, you know posting and it's not just creating and you know it's no it's not like that you guys it's kind of hard so especially when you have your own business to run it is hard so um i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna last with them for the whole this whole month maybe next month maybe in three months i don't know you guys i really don't know but take advantage of that coupon code because i don't think it's gonna last a long time <laughs> so yeah baby girls um so i am using their monomer and i am using their neutralizer drops uh just so that it can min minimize the smell or the odor of the monomer even though monomer does kind of linger around your house um it's very important to use little things to kind of minimize the odor of it you know what i mean um just take precautions not precautions but um like proper steps to like reducing the smell you can use a, an air purifier in your house or the area that you're working in you can open up a window if it's not too cold outside of course um you can whenever you throw your paper towels make sure that you put them inside like a big container with a lid a lid that really closes well because you don't want that odor to like um be coming out of the bottle um i usually use like I usually buy for my kids like those big um, apple juices from Walmart and as soon as they're done with them I just kind of rinse them out and use them for my paper towels um, as soon as I'm done with them I put them in there um, I let it fill up and once I'm done with it of course I just throw it away and that's it um, that kind of helps me with the monomer smell um, I've always done that always 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 you guys it's been forever since I've done that um and before i used to send my 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 kids to throw the paper towel in a bag and they would hate to go outside to throw it because i wouldn't like to throw it inside in the trash can inside because it, it would still like smell the house in the mornings would still smell because of all that odor it was coming out of the little bag you know what i mean and um i would send them out to to throw the trash outside like to the outside bin and they would hate it like they would hate it 
and now it's like so much easier they don't have to do that and you know i just have it there once it's like filled up i just go ahead and toss it in the trash and that's it you know what i mean so yeah baby girls that's another tip that i can give you but um neutralizing drops are very helpful as well um so again i do have a coupon code with two guys go ahead and check them out i promise you you will not regret it their products are 100 percent awesome are 100 percent um beginner friendly um they're really good you guys they're high quality they're really good products i promise you um so not just because i, I have a coupon code i'm gonna talk um sweet things about them or good things about them no you guys it i'm genuinely tell, telling you this their products are really good and i think they're very underrated as well but anyway moving on i am using their sweet no it's not sweet lush um it's called sweet love and that's what i'm using and the pink that i am using for today's video or the um nudie pink is a sweet love i love that acrylic you guys i've been using it a lot ever since i got it i've been using it a lot i love it so much and um yeah <laughs> i love it i love it that much anyway um so i went ahead and kind of ombre that color like starting from the cuticle area down towards like the center of the nail not all the way down because we're gonna be adding glitter on there and i didn't want my nails to be looking extra bulky just like i did with my lipstick nails when i added the sailor moon glitter if you guys haven't seen that video go ahead and watch it it's super good because it's like a totally different vibe we have a lipstick shape going on so it's like a whole vibe you guys go and watch it if you haven't anyway yeah that middle nail came out super super thick because i added my like my acrylic all the way down and then i totally forgot that i was gonna be adding glitter on top of that and i ended up adding glitter on top of that and it was super super bulky um i managed to kind of file it down or thin it down a little bit once i was filing but either way you guys you want to avoid all of that so just make sure that you don't go all the way down if you're doing this you know this little ombre thing <clears throat> excuse me but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this glitter if you guys don't know about this glitter I'm sure you did because um, this was from my last year's Valentine collection This one is called Toxica and I love it you guys. I freaking love it I, I don't think I had the chance to use it last year um, I don't know why you guys I really don't know why I didn't use it last year but um this glitter is it's so 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 beautiful you guys again it's called toxica from my last year's valentine's collection my last year's valentine's collection was all glitters so this one was in the collection um and it's so beautiful so i went ahead and added it here on the tip of the nail and um right here in the in my two middle nails which is my ring finger and my middle nail we're gonna be adding some little golden like charms we're gonna be encapsulating those so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a, the same thing here but we're gonna be adding a lot less glitter uh you guys can see here um i'm beginning again with my cuticle application which is the sweet love from two guys um and i just begin around the cuticle area and then i'm gonna start to add my glitter um once i start adding my glitter like i mentioned it's gonna be a lot less glitter because we're gonna be doing encapsulation with little gold charms so these are the gold charms that we're gonna be using um these are the playboy bunnies with the little lv little um flowers or stars whatever it is i don't even know you guys um we're also gonna be encapsulating little flowers little hearts and then the one that's like the little box that's more filled up with little charms that one has like a whole bunch of different charms stars christmas charms um valentine's it has like a whole bunch of them but there's one that i really wanted to add which has a little heart and then it says love right in the center and i really wanted to en encapsulate that one as well so i'm gonna bring that one out of there for both nails and that's pretty much the only one that i'm going to be using from that little box um but yeah you guys can see here like literally the amount of glitter that i am applying and i'm being very careful with it kind of playing around with the glitters making sure that um they're not like all stacked up you know what i mean i'm just 
kind of being super gentle and being super careful to kind of spread them around the nail so that they look all um, nicely spread it <laughs> but yeah you guys you guys know what i mean um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then um you guys can see here how i'm picking out like the glitters and things you know what i mean so that again they look nice and like spread it throughout the nail and they don't look all bulky you know what i mean so yeah anyway after that i'm gonna go ahead and start to apply my little sequin charms or i don't know what they're called you guys um i think they're charms um, but i'm not too sure what they're called but i'm just gonna be using a wax tool the ones that you use for your rhinestones to kind of pick them up it's so much easier you guys than trying to pick them up using your brush like honestly i was like i'm not even gonna deal with that I would usually just try to pick them up with my brush and that was like the hardest thing ever. I don't even know what I was doing. I don't know you guys. That was like so much harder to do. <laughs> so I'm like you know what I'm just I'm not gonna deal with that. So I went ahead and used my wax tool and it was picking up like a charm you guys like totally totally easy. I just went ahead and placed them down on the nail while the glitter acrylic is still wet just so that it has a sticky layer to stick on. Um, if you see that there's like they're moving around and they're not you know sticking to the surface just make sure you add a little bit of more acrylic crystal clear acrylic on there and they'll be good to go I promise you they won't move around they will not budge just like I'm doing here that big one was like moving around so I had to go ahead and apply a, a little more of acrylic on top of it just so that it wouldn't budge around whenever I came to to cap the whole nail so I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the middle nail, you guys. But guess what I did? Like, guess what I did? I went ahead and um, zoomed you guys in or brought my... No, I didn't even zoom you guys in. I brought you guys in. Like, I brought my hand in closer to the camera. And once I did that, of course, it was a little blurry because I have the autofocus. So um, here it is. That's that. This is where I'm showing you, like, the whole acrylic process and stuff and well not the acrylic process but the whole encapsulating charms things so i go back to film and i forgot to put autofocus again to press a little button and it was all blurry it was all blurry you guys i was like no oh my god i had to delete that part you guys because literally you couldn't even see what i was doing there's times where i'm recording and um even though it looks a little bit blurry i like to leave it in because you can still see what i'm kind of doing um but in this case you could not see anything you couldn't see what i was doing. literally it was a whole blur and i'm like oh my god i didn't like i don't know you guys i totally forgot to press the little autofocus button and everything was all blurry so i had to delete that part i am so sorry but I oh, Thank God the you guys were able to see the ring finger because if you guys weren't able to see the ring finger, oh my God, I would have had to like literally probably delete the whole thing or just the acrylic application and do it all over again so that you guys can see what I was doing, exactly what I was doing. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, thankfully that was saved and thankfully I was able to save that part. Um, but the rest, it's gone, you guys. It's totally gone. But yeah, anyway. Now I'm going to be moving on to capping and um, we're going to be using my crystal clear acrylic, which is that crystal clear acrylic, you guys. I'm still in the works of it to bring it out on my website. You guys have been asking for me to bring out a clear acrylic um, because I don't know. I think that's a very important thing to have in your collection or if you buy like from a brand, you want to try their your clear acrylic you know what i mean they want to try that out as well so i think i'm gonna bring it out bring it out in a couple of months i'm not sure when you guys i know that sometimes i tell you that in a month in two months in three months but honestly i'm not sure when hopefully um, for sure this year but i don't know when um i'm still in the works of it i'm still in the process of the of making the containers um the containers you guys when you have a small business you know those containers are expensive they're expensive you guys so we're not only charging you for the product itself like inside the container 
but also the container you guys those containers are expensive like expensive so um you guys are like no like 12 13 dollars for a one ounce acrylic girl like that's honestly that's cheap because if we add all together everything that we've spent on everything like girl everything is so expensive so i'm still in the works of making my four because I, I don't know if i should make it onto a two ounce um container or a four ounce container which i think a four ounce container would be better but it's also gonna be a lot more expensive i don't know you guys i'm still in the works of it like i said so i will for sure keep you guys posted on that um but yeah this is the the clear acrylic that i am using this one will be available on my website i don't know when but it will be available on my website so right now it's just bombnails brand which nobody has only me <laughs> um but yeah um so now i'm gonna of course go ahead and cap everything you want to make sure you secure everything because you don't want to file it off whenever you file or whenever you bring in your e-file imagine oh my god double the work so uh, yeah anyway I don't know if I if I've told you this before, but when I I remember my very first set that I ever did on myself, it was a coppery glitter um, nail set. They were all all copper. I remember that little copper glitter came in this little pot, and I remember I mixed it in with clear acrylic and I applied it all throughout my nails. I remember I didn't even cap them. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I mean, I wasn't thinking because, of course, I was a beginner. I wasn't, like, sure of what I was doing. I was not familiar, familiar, of course, with what I was doing. So I just went ahead and went with the flow. You know what I mean? I didn't cap. I didn't do anything. Once I came to file, um, I remember my nails or actually the glitter was looking silver and i was like why is it looking silver but oh you know captava like i couldn't like understand why like girl you gotta you gotta cap <laughs> nothing in my head said you have to cap you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah i remember those notes clearly and I wish I had pictures of my of my like beginner stages of nails. I I would never take pictures, you guys, and that's like a big mistake we make as beginners. Sometimes we hate our work so much, we hate what we do, we, we hate our set so much that you don't even take pictures of it. Um and that's like a big mistake because you don't know the progress you're making. Um that's a big mistake that I made you guys and I solely regret it right now. I so 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 regret it right now because I have zero pictures of what I did and I have zero pictures to show you what my work looked like when I first began. Um I wish I did. Um I think I only have maybe like one and that's not even like the whole um hand like the whole the whole set you know it's like my face with my hand and you can kind of see like the the structure of the nail the design and all that oh my god you guys i don't know what i was thinking but if you're a beginner go ahead and take pictures take pictures 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 take lots of pictures of your nails because that's the only way you're gonna see your progress how you're doing um me falto aquí. like this is what i'm missing and you know what I mean? You'll see your little mistakes that you're doing throughout the throughout time. And you're going to be like, oh, I need to fix that. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, okay. I see what I did there and I need to fix it now. So, you know what I mean? So, you need to see your progress. Um, And, yeah, I really regret it. So, if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter if your nails look ugly. Please make sure you take pictures. Because, honestly, if you don't, you're going to regret it like me. <laughs> So, yeah, baby girls, I'm going to go ahead and um, finish up here um, with the capping process. Um, by the way, I didn't mention the brush because I know that we have a lot of new viewers lately. And the brush that I am using is a number 12 Kalinsky brush from my online store. If you guys are wondering, you can go to the link in the description box below. Right now, it's out of stock. Yes, it's out of stock, but hopefully I'll be bringing it soon back. The number 12 and the number 14. I know I always mention this in my past videos, but like I, I like I said, we do have new viewers. So yeah, that will be available soon. But yeah, baby girls, go ahead and check out the Valentine's Day restock because it's still there. 
um and as i mentioned to you guys in previous videos like i don't expect for me to sell out this time it's okay if i don't sell out this time because i was so 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 surprised when i sold out the first time so crazy you guys so so crazy i sold out like in 24 hours most of the colors were gone and i oh my god i feel i feel i didn't felt i feel so blessed up to today you guys and i'm so grateful thank you guys so so much because without you we wouldn't be here like none of us would be here i i always think about that like if it's not because of them none of us youtubers or nail tubers or whoever youtubers wouldn't be here without you guys without you you guys are the ones that make everything happen around here so thank you thank you thank you so much anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys finish watching this part i'm about done you guys i'm gonna be moving on to filing and shaping and all that um so yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing so i'll leave you guys to it and i'll be back right now Okay, so here we go with the filing per usual. I am using my 100 100 nail grid files from two guys um, And pretty much what I do is just kind of remove the acrylic that might have ran down towards the sidewalls um, Acrylic does tend to do that even if you wipe your sidewalls So just go ahead and remove that and I also like to remove some acrylic that runs down onto the skin and i hate that part you guys i really hate that part so i go ahead and remove that with my hand files first i kind of further shape yes because it helps out with of course the shaping you want to look at a very crisp nail you know what i mean so that really helps out and um, so like i said i further shape i kind of remove any acrylic running down the sidewalls and that's pretty much what i do with the, with the hand file and then, of course, now I'm going to be moving on with my, oh my God, with my e-file. After that, after I'm done with my hand file, I move on with my e-file. Um, so pretty much what I do, I go around the cuticle area, removing like any acrylic that is the, or that's sitting on top of the skin on the cuticle area that will cause lifting. There's a lot of things. Let's talk about lifting, you guys. Let's talk about lifting because there's a lot of factors that can cause lifting um first of all if you're not prepping your nails correctly your natural nails correctly you will have lifting you're not pushing back your cuticles you're not removing um the shine from the natural nail um or you are not um you know removing the cuticle area correctly um second of all primer if your primer is too old trust me you guys you will have lifting dust can also be a problem with lifting let's just say you finished prepping your client's natural nails and you leave all that dust on her natural nails you don't cleanse it you go ahead and apply the primer and it still has all that dust in there that's gonna cause a lot of lifting i promise you your nails are gonna lift that's why I can just tell you as soon as you're done prepping all the nail, as soon as you're done cutting the cuticle, pushing back cuticles, removing the natural shine to the natural nail, as soon as you're done with all of that, go ahead and grab a lint-free wipe and a little bit of alcohol. Um, I have the solution that I do. It's 75% um, alcohol and 25% acetone that um actually helps like a dehydrator so i actually spray it on my natural nails as soon as i'm done with the lint free wipe remove all of that whenever you see my videos working on myself the ones that i do on my right hand you guys always see me do that and that's because of that you guys i always like to remove any dust any little dust particles will cause your nails to lift so make sure you remove all of that 
Um, also, whenever you're sizing your nail tips, if the nail tip is too small, it can pop off, you guys. And it's going to cause your client's nails to even hurt. So make sure that it, it's the right size. If it's too big, you can always file it down to the correct size. Something that actually fits her perfect. When you're doing your acrylic application, now I think that's like the most hardest part. Because when you're a beginner, you want to focus. Me, well me, I'm talking about myself. I remember when I was a, a, a beginner, I would always see everybody's like cuticle application and i was like why isn't mine like that why is my cuticle application all ugly like it gets everywhere <clears throat> i promise you once you get your cuticle application down you will have no more lifting i can promise you that you guys because if you're still touching the skin whether it's acrylic whether it's dipping system whether it's poly gel whether it's the gelic system whatever it is any um nail enhancements and you're still touching the skin around the cuticle area that will cost you to lift that's gonna cost the nail to lift i promise you you will have lifting probably the next day um they're not gonna last you will have lifting your nails are gonna lift so um, you want to make sure that you are not touching the skin. You are not, um, you know, getting all that product on top of the skin. Let's say you're working with acrylic. If you worked or poly gel, if you're working or any enhancement pretty much. Okay. And you got any product on top of the skin, please go ahead and remove it really, really, really quick. Please make sure you remove that because I promise you that's going to, um, cost lifting if, if you do not remove it so go ahead and remove it really quick with your brush or whatever it is that you're using at that moment you know what i mean you can even use a cuticle pusher to remove it if you're using like the dipping system or the gelix um system whatever it is you guys just go ahead and remove it and i promise you you're you're gonna see um a reducing in a lifting does that make sense so yeah you guys there's a lot of factors to to lifting i know that a lot of the factors come from um prepping the nails correctly but my problem was that i was still touching the skin that was my problem you guys i remember i was getting everything down i was getting my you know my nail prep right i would have push back cuticles I, I would remove any like dangling skin around it i would um i even had like a i even bought like a brand new um what's it called primer and you know it was brand new it was never used i did everything like all the steps correctly because i i remember sitting down i'm like okay what am i doing wrong um i really want to see what i'm doing wrong and i remember you guys i i i once did a set well it wasn't even a set it was i think like two nails and um i remember i did all the steps correctly and i did my acrylic application but i did not touch the skin i remember i i started like on the apex area and i'm like if that has lifting then my prep work my prep work is all wrong i'm doing something wrong either it's my primer or i'm not removing the shine like how i'm supposed to remove it i'm doing something wrong you know and if that doesn't lift then it's my acrylic application i promise you guys those nails did not have any lifting why because of course on your apex area you have zero skin there's no skin there the only skin is like on the side walls but you know that's so much easier to remove other than the cuticle area so I'm like, oh my God, like there's zero lifting. There's There was no lifting. I'm like, it's my acrylic application, my cuticle. I was not getting my cuticle application down. I wasn't working on that. You know what I mean? Ever since then, I started to focus more on my cuticle application. And I promise, I started to work harder on that. And I saw a huge, huge difference. I um, practiced more on my powder to powder to liquid ratio i always forget that powder to liquid ratios so that i could get my acrylic application around that cuticle area good it wasn't perfect you guys i i had a huge problem with that area but i saw that even though it looked a little wonky a little crooked whatever it was it wasn't like 
perfectly rounded there. <laughs> um, I was not touching the skin and I was getting zero lifting. I started to see that, you guys. I started to see a difference. So I'm telling you, you guys need to like kind of like see what you're what you're like missing on, what you're um having problems with. If you're having problems with like me with the cuticle application, focus on that. If you're having problems with um still touching the skin practice on removing your pro your product or your acrylic or whatever it is around the cuticle area before it dries you know what i mean focus on that whatever it is that you're lagging on focus on that i promise you you will get better so yeah lifting is a big problem whenever you begin whenever you start or you're a beginner it's a big huge problem you guys and like i said it could be many factors but um and mostly 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 it could be either you're not doing the prep work right on the natural nail or it could be your acrylic application i promise you it could be your acrylic application so yes baby girls with that being said <laughs> um i'm gonna finish up here filing you guys saw that i went ahead and filed i went ahead and used my e-file debulked the nail sealed that cuticle because you want to make sure you seal that cuticle as well whenever you're doing your filing you want to make sure you seal that cuticle with your drill bit or if you're old school because girl like there's there's nothing wrong with being old school i used to file like this Ahora me hice más como que más flojita. <laughs> I became a little more. Well, it's not being lazy, guys. That's not being lazy. But um, what I'm trying to say is that the e-file makes your life so much easier. But um, if you are like me, back in the day when I used to file um, with my hand file, like the whole thing, then make sure that you're sealing the cuticle area with your hand file as well that none of that product is touching the skin okay or that's on top of the skin so make sure that you're sealing that area too because that can also cause lifting so anyway i went ahead and sealed the cuticle debulked the nail and also went ahead and made my nail super crisp and then i went ahead and buffed the nails i didn't show that part i forgot to you guys i i think i stopped the camera i was gonna go do something i stopped it came back and i didn't record that part but yeah you guys always see me do that so anyway we're gonna be moving on to the actual just like gel polish you know um design um crystals and you know you guys know <clears throat> so i'm gonna be using this gel polish from valentino it's a white gel polish I love to use this um, white gel polish. It's super white, super pigmented. I love it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my Frenchies. And you guys can see I start off by doing the little smile line. And then, of course, I fill it in with um, the actual brush from the gel bottle or the gel polish bottle. And I'm pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing here on the index nail as well as my pinky. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to be doing with this design. I had a lot of things in mind, but I wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to be doing. Um, I always tell you guys, I never have anything in mind unless I'm doing a recreation or an inspiration. But other than that, I really don't ever have anything in mind. It's so, so hard um, to to kind of just like freestyle something because you don't have you have nothing in your head like well, this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get this down and do this and then do that like um yeah it's a little hard <laughs> so um i didn't have anything in mind i didn't know what i was gonna be doing and i wanted to do like an xoxo type of wording here on the index nail but then i was like i think i already did that so i'm like no i'm not gonna do that no more um let's just do two little frenchies so I went ahead and did my little Frenchies here again, doing the little smile line and then filled it up. And then before I cure it in the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that using glitter. So, okay, I forgot to mention that I made these two nails matte. You guys probably saw it, but I didn't mention it. Um, I went ahead and added my matte top coat from my online store. I went ahead and added a thin layer on there. And then I went ahead and cured it for about a minute. Once I came out of the lamp, now I started off with my Frenchies. And then um, I began my Frenchies, and now I'm going to be doing the sugar effect. 
so my my gel polish is still a little wet so i went ahead and added my my glitter and then after i sprinkled my glitter then i'm gonna go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds you guys know um you guys are truly ogs here and you guys know what i'm doing exactly but in case you're brand new here on the channel of course i need to make sure that i explain everything that i'm doing so you guys don't have you know any questions or anything like that so yeah baby girls after that we're gonna be moving on to some crystals so some of these crystals are are serenity crystals which are from blue streak i do have a coupon code with them so don't forget to check them out i will have their link in the description box below as well as my coupon code so don't forget to check that out okay and um yeah i'm gonna be placing a like a neon pink crystal here right in the center and then around it i'm gonna be going in with some ab rhinestones okay and these are in the size nine seven and fives so i'm gonna go ahead and do that on the middle nail also on my ring finger and then on my little frenchies that we did i'm gonna go ahead and add three of them which is gonna be a neon pink in the center and then two at the bottom and then another one at the top of that neon one So now we're going to be adding my diamond top coat, which is so shiny and so beautiful and so satisfying. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply it here on my two nails right in the center, which is my ring finger and my middle nail. Um, of course, I wanted those to be shiny because we do have like golden charms encapsulated and I really wanted to those to pop. Well, sometimes matte makes everything else pop. But I don't know. I just wanted a shiny. So <laughs> I went ahead and did it shiny. And yeah, baby girls, I went ahead and added a super thin coat of this. And then I went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds. Once it came out of this lamp, I went ahead and added my cuticle oil. Okay, make sure you add your cuticle oil. You don't want your cuticles looking all crusty dusty. So please make sure you add your cuticle oil. I know we forget sometimes because I do too. And I do have crusty dusty cuticles sometimes. But just, just kind of like remind yourself to add your cuticle oil, okay? <laughs> and this is the end result, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys liked it. Yes, another pink vibes nail design for Valentine's. I know you guys, I'm probably like boring you guys with so much pink. I know, but pink and red, oh my God, I love it. I just love it. It's just like the perfect combo for Valentine's um and so yes baby girls i will see you here on next week's videos so yeah stay safe god bless and bye bye